hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today i will show you how to connect multiple databases in coding nitro so let's get started so i'll be showing you two database connections so first database connection is that how default database connection is made and how to fetch from it second is how to set new database connection configuration and connect to that database and then load or fetch data from second database so let me show you database now first one is db product so from here i'll be fetching category list that is from category master after that second database is customer from there i'll be fetching customer list so now let me show you code so in code i have created one home controller in that i'll be fetching my list and in model i'll be writing query for that now let me show you database.php file so in database.php file we set our database configuration so by default active group that is set is default database so in default database i'm passing username root and database i'm passing is db product that is our first database so that's all you need to do for default configuration of database now we need to make a connection with database so that we will be doing using database library in ci so here in auto load write database library now this one will load default database and make a connection with it so now let's fetch the records from category table so now let's go and write query in our model so let's create a function write public function fetch records inside that right first one i'm going to select star from the table then i'm going to fetch get the table name that is category master now this get function will execute the query and hold the result in a variable let's say query now get the result from query and then return this result so now in our controller let's load our model and in index function let's uh, call the same function that we have written in our model write this home model and fetch records hold that in a variable let's say records now i'm going to print records so now let's go and check in browser refresh now you can see we are having three records and if i'll go to my category master table there you can see we have three records as well so all the data it's fetching so now we will be moving to our second database that is customer database so firstly i'm going to show you how to configure your database so in database.php file i'm going to define the same configuration for my second db so below this uh, default paste all these configuration now you what you need to do is firstly change the key for that from default let's say i'm going to fetch it with new db let's say and what you need to change is uh, if you have a different ip than host name otherwise username password and database you need to change so write database db customer as i'm working on localhost my host name username or password remains same you can configure according to your database configuration now i need to load this database so write this load database and inside that i'm going to pass the db key that i have defined that is new db so here i'm going to pass that and i'm going to set second parameter as well that is it will return me database object and i'm going to hold that in a variable that is this let's say new db so now connection is done here now we need to fetch records so just copy from above and paste here so now we need to change this db to this new db as now we will be using our new database to fetch so now let's get the table from second database that is customer so right let's say select star and get customer so now let's go and check in browser so now you can see all four entries are coming from table customer and it is from second database now so now let me change variable let's say result 2 and now let me show you result 1 as well as result 2 so create one final array and inside that write result key and pass 
from default DB that is result. After that, write another key, let's say new DB and pass result 2 in that. Now, return this final array. Now, let's go and check in browser. So, refresh now. Now, you can see result and new DB. From both database data is coming. So, at the same time, two database connection is happening. So you can define multiple database configuration in your database.php file and then you can load your database wherever you want to use that database. So that's all in this video. In my next video, I'll be showing you how to dynamically load database. Let's say you are storing your database credentials or like database information into database and then you are fetching it and then loading database configuration and then fetching the, the code so i'll be showing you this in my next video so if you have any doubt related to this topic then comment down below please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching